In this video, I am going to show you how you can export your search results from Scopus to an Excel sheet. Scopus does have an option to directly export it to Excel. However, on many occasions, it, we found that the Excel file is completely empty. So if you are facing that issue, follow these steps and you will have your results in an Excel document. So first thing, we will do a search on Scopus. This was a search that I ran and which gave me 344 results. I have selected all the results and I can choose the option. There are many options, but I will choose this, this option, which is RIS export. So here you can also export in other formats and you can also see there is an op option for CSV Excel, but for some reason that is not working properly. So we will choose RIS as the export format and click the export button. Once you click on the export button, you will see the file downloading here. It may take some time depending upon how many documents or how many search results you have. So this is now downloaded. I'll now go to another software called as Jabref. It is a reference management software. If you do not have it, you can search Jabref and download it and install it. It is fairly straightforward to install. Once you have Jabref installed, click on file, go to import and choose import into new library. Go to your downloads folder or wherever your RIS file is downloaded just now and open that. Depending upon the size of the results, it may take a while for it to be downloaded. All right, you can now see there are 344 entries in my Jabref library. Okay, the next step is to go to file, use export and select export all entries. When this dialog box opens, make sure to choose CSV this one open office csv file and give it a name at the bottom it will say that this has been successful what we do next is open the Excel document. Once you have done that, you will see the file opens like this. There are a lot of different uh, columns here with different information. The most important ones, for example, is the title, the name of the journal, which year it was published and depending upon how you want to use the information, there is a lot of information here that you can. What is not very clearly visible here is the column custom one is in fact the abstract. So you can rename that. And column three, oh sorry, custom three is the keywords. So what I may do is just highlight, sorry, not highlight that, just hide some of the information that I don't need during my evaluation of my literature. And only keep those things that I want to use. All right, so this now <clears throat> gives me the All right, so now I have the title of the paper, 
the journal in which it was published, the year, the abstract, and the keywords. To make it more visible or easy to use, you can make it wrap, wrap text. So that makes the abstract section quite long. All right. So for the for when you're evaluating the literature, if you're writing a systematic literature review paper, one of the things that you need to do is to decide what information you are going to extract from these selected papers. And to find that information and record that in the Excel sheet is the easiest way to systematically organize your literature. So to do that, let's uh, go back here and add a couple more rows. All right, so what I'm going to do here is, let's say I'm going to write my research question one and research question two. Okay, suppose my systematic literature review has two research questions. And to answer the research question, I need to extract two pieces of information from each paper. So suppose for research question one, the first thing that I want to find out is what problem is addressed by this paper and what was the solution that they developed and to answer the research question two i would want to find out what methodology was used okay so if i need to just find this information uh, so if i have to answer this research question i need to identify this information from for research question one and this to answer my research question two. So let's say uh, I'm not going to find the actual answer now, but just to show you, for example, this is how I could identify the information that I need from each of the papers. And this is called data extraction. All right. So how can you do this? So for doing that, one is you can read the abstract, you can read the, the title, or you can read the keywords and see if that helps you to identify the question, the answers to uh, fill this up. One easier way to do this is to go to data and click filter. So when I click filter, you can see this arrow that comes up here. What that does is it helps me to search for specific keywords within, say, for example, in the title. So if I were to search the word retrofit, I can see from the instead of 344 papers, now I have 166 papers. So what that means is if one of the way I want to categorize my literature was based upon the concept retrofit, there are at least 166 papers that talk about it in the title itself. Okay. Similarly, you can do the same thing in the abstract. And when I do this, I get 303. So almost all the papers have the term retrofit in it. Similarly, I can do that for the keywords as well. So the reason why I'm saying you that is if you have to identify specific keywords that help you to look for this information, you can look it in this manner. Another example could be, let's say in, in challenge, I say method. This now gives me a fairly short list, but this could be that if I 
read through this abstract that maybe I can find out what method they have used or what methodology they have used. Okay, so you can use this feature very nicely uh, to work with the your journal uh, publications that you have in uh, in your citations in your reference list. Okay, so that way you can systematically extract information from uh, from the paper based upon what information you need to answer your research question. Okay, so I hope that was helpful uh, and you can now easily extract uh, files from Scopus and take them to Excel and do further analysis. And the same thing can be done from web for Web of Science or any other database that you're using. As long as you can export the files from uh, any database to the RIS format and import that into Jabref, you can convert it to Excel like this. All right, uh, I hope this video was useful and it will help you to progress with your research.